Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopist. In the previous tutorial, we wrote a few lines of code to define our unit architecture and then we realized, in fact, let me jump in, we realized that it reported about 1.9 million parameters. Now, let's take some time uh, to quickly understand exactly what these number of parameters are and uh, maybe try to understand how it's actually calculating these total number of parameters. For that, let me get to the drawing board. So it's a bit easy to understand this if you have only a feed forward type of uh, network. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, for example, if you have, uh, uh, let me turn the, my writing pad on. So uh, only the feed forward network, which means if you have like an input layer, for example, you have an input layer right here, right? And then you have a hidden layer, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And then you have your output layer. Let's say we are predicting two values right there. And then the network is nothing but okay. For every one of this, you have, oh, sorry. For every one of this, you have this fully uh, connected right there. There you go. You got the idea. And then from here again, okay. So this is, uh, this is uh, let's say, a fully uh, a feed-forward network. And then here we have like three of these uh, parameter, uh, I should say like three uh, input units. And here we have like five in the hidden layer and here we have two, right? So now to actually calculate the total number of parameters, first of all, what parameters do we have? Like we have to look at the total number of connections. This is one, right? So one would be connections, if I can write. The other one that it's actually uh, looking at is uh, the, the biases, okay? That it's actually calculating. So how do we get these two? The total number of connections is easy, right? So the total number of connections is, in this case, uh, three times five. So we have about 15 connections right there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So uh, we have 15 connections over there. And then if you look at uh, here, you have like 10 connections right here, five times two, 10. So 15 plus 10 is the total number of connections. So you have 25 connections. On top of that, you have uh, five biases plus two biases. Okay, so plus five plus two, so seven. Okay, so you have a total of 32 parameters that need to be calculated for this simple feed forward network. Now, when you when you come down to like something like unit, it gets a bit more complicated. So unit is convolutional neural networks. So let me delete this. So for unit, you have to still look at uh, the total number of weights plus biases. Okay. So uh, again, so the total number of parameters is, uh, uh, let's actually write down. So the total number of parameters uh, for unit is nothing but your total number of weights that need to be calculated. Okay. Remember the weights are the ones that are constantly updated and the biases also. So that's it. So you add uh, all of these and then you get uh, you get your total. So now let's say we have a two by two or uh, let's actually make this three by three to make things a bit easy. Uh, and let's say this is a grayscale image. OK, so this is my input grayscale image. So uh, I have uh, a total of, uh, let's say, one feature map here. OK, and from here, let's say. Uh, you add some filters and uh, each filter is uh, two by two and you can have n number of filters, right? You can have mul multiple filters and let's say this is my uh, 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 the uh, kernel size. So now you have like your weights, okay? You have your weight number one, you have weight number two and a whole bunch of these. And then you get like filtered images here. So you have filtered images. And for each filtered image, you actually add some bias, correct? So we add the biases for each of this, and this results in the output, okay? So this is your output, okay? So here you have your output, okay? So now let's start calculating uh, calculating this. So how many do I have? Like one feature right here. Yeah, this is uh, this is just a grayscale. So there is only one right here. Now the filter size here again is two by two. So this is nothing but my dimensions are two. 
and uh, how many filters do I have? I have like three of these filters, right? So I have like three filters total. Okay, so the total number of parameters is, uh, this is a two by two uh, filter. The total number of parameters is one multiplied by two by two multiplied by three. Okay, and then the, how many biases do I have? Bias one, bias two, and bias three. So plus three, that's it. So what does this come to? Uh, to I think this is uh, four, 12 plus three total, 15 parameters that need to be trained here. Okay, so this is, this is uh, pretty much it actually. Uh, now, of course, if you have RGB image, then of course you have three channels and you can do the math over there. So in summary, again, uh, I for feed forward, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and for convolutional networks, again, you look at, okay, how many channels do I have? Uh, in this case, this is one image, gray level image, which is one. And by the way, if I have like 16 of these, you know, uh, because if you look at our architecture here, at this point, I'll have 16, right? 128 by 128 by 16, so you can do the math, okay? In fact, we don't have to do the math. The Spider uh, or the Python program actually does the math, and for each of this, it calculates how many trainable parameters are there. Uh, 448 here, 2320 here, and everything, and when you add them up, apparently for what we have defined, it's coming up to about 1.9 million. Okay, so I hope this was a very uh, short educational detour. Let's get back to defining our, uh, our unit so we can start segmenting our cells. Okay, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, let's meet in the next tutorial.